Right, now I want to demo how I added stuff into the knowledge base and how it worried. Basically, found this file about Kiron Salud, the slide chain of hospitals in Spain. I downloaded it and then I added it to the knowledge base and I call it Clinics Kiron Salud Spain. So it also contains like the, a little bit of metadata. What is this clinic about? Right. Then I start my bot and I ask it if it can basically update the database. So what happens now, it looks into the files, it finds the files that are um, not added to the database, it factorizes them and adds all these pages to the knowledge to the knowledge base. And the way that I did it, it is keeping all the snippets that were before, so I don't re-add the files that were added before because that then I will use a lot of tokens and I don't want to every time embed everything. And the reason why it has like one snippet per database because like when I use PyPDF, it actually splits them by page for each page. Um, so it says database has been updated. And now I can ask it the question, let's say, So I'm asking it something about the chain of hospitals that we have just added. Hopefully it'll find something. Seems to be thinking. All right, so we, here we have says it's a leading blah 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 and has such such and such, such, and such information. I also counted the limit of what Discord allows me, so I split it into two pieces of uh, two separate messages, two pieces of information. Um, and then you can ask follow up questions. can also be contextual because it uh, it uses memory so it remembers certain amount of recent interactions that it had with me so um, not a lot so I only offer up to a thousand uh, tokens for memory but basically you can see that it replied to me oh, cardiology oncology neurology and so on and so on so here I can see what is happening under the hood. So it invoked knowledge base with doc filter Kiron Salute. So it wanted all everything about this clinic. So it got all the snippets of information. And the question was, what medical service does it offer? So probably it maybe from 44 pages, it fetched, I don't know, like 10 pages or 20 pages or something like this, but not pages like it's a vectorized version of it, small snippets. And then it looked up if it can answer this question. One of those, there was the answer. Um, yeah, that's how you add files. So you don't have to have any like uh, programming access or trigger anything. You just have to add files into the folder and then basically add files into this Google Drive and then you ask it to update it. That's pretty much it. You can ask questions.